Hey, Mr. Sherman, uh, Mr. Sherman here, and just going to go over uh, a Brick Breaker style app. This is an app, if you're following the Project Lead the Way curriculum, this is an app I always like to do after the Germ Fighter app. Uh, because it's a lot of the same concepts, a lot of similar concepts, but a bit of a step up and uses a bit uh, new features, new components and such. And for this first part, I'm just going to walk through the layout, how I like to do it, how I like to set my screen up, how I like to get it looking. And we'll go into the blocks here in the next part. So I have these tile, uh, or I'm sorry, these these picture files I imported, these picture files I added. And I just got these from uh, this website right here, opengameart.org. I'll include this link in the description. But there's a lot of good art on this website, a lot of different things you could use if you ever come up with new apps. It's always good to look in there, see if there's art you can add to it. So the first thing, very similar to Germ Fighter, we're going to need a canvas. And I always set its height and width to fill parent because I want this to be the main part of my screen, take up as much room as it can. And then for games like this, I like to include a timer, so a timer label, a score label, and a lives label. And as you see, we lose space in our canvas the more things we add in. So we're going to have to go into our layout tab, use one of these horizontal arrangements, become familiar with these people. I think people think these are more complicated than they are. They're not that tough. If you just look at the picture, you know which one to use. So I'm going to grab this horizontal arrangement, stick it in here, and then I'm going to put all my labels oops, inside of that. And I guess it doesn't really matter what order you want these to appear in. Um, I guess I'm going to go score lives timer. That's that's how it's going to go for me. So I'm actually going to align everything in the center, center, and I'm going to make this, not that one, I'm going to make this fill parent, and let's get these looking somewhat decent. Score zero lives. Uh, uh, lives should start as three, I guess, right? Why not? Time left, 99. I don't know what we're going to do with time left for now. I might have a countdown. I might have a count up. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, centering everything out, trying to get everything to look nice. Uh, boom. Uh, actually, can I go? I think I need to do one of these. So, yeah, I'm just going to mess around with this a little bit, getting it, get it to look how I like. And yeah, I'm going to do that. Cool. Um, so if you're following along, I just had this fill parent and uh, my put my score aligned to the left, my timer aligned to the right, all that good stuff. And I'm going to do something similar right above it. But now I'm going to have a start button, a pause button and a restart <clears throat> button fill parent and that actually is going to make it a little smaller and it looks like I need to make these a little smaller as well so I'm going to do just like 30% for all of these uh, shoot that's going to have to boom and boom and as always, let's try to get these to look somewhat nice. I'm going to have my star button be green. Start. And I always like to bold the font. Um, I guess my pause is going to be yellow. Pause. I guess that means this is going to be red, right? Uh, not pink. Red. <clears throat> Restart. Boom. 
Let's go ahead, give ourselves an image sprite. I'm going to make this first one. Oh, shoot. I should have renamed these before I uploaded them. Uh, where'd that go? Oh, shoot. It's way too big. Okay. Um, I should have made these smaller. Uh, but what you can do, because this always happens to me as well, you can just go in here, and I can manually set these. So I want this to be like 20 pixels tall and like 60 pixels wide. And look at that. I'm going to rename this to be my paddle. <clears throat> I always just use this ball. Um, so that's going to be my ball. And I recommend just like two to three bricks to start. Not not too many. Two to three bricks to start. If you have too many, it starts getting confusing to keep track of. <clears throat> um, look at that, 20 by 60. Uh, but yeah, if you have too many, it just, it gets hard to keep track of and test and such. So like two to three to start, I think, is a perfect number. Two to three to start. So we have our few two to three bricks right here. Um, our buttons, our labels, all that good stuff. I think the only thing I'm really missing is I want to have a timer. So I think really the only thing I'm missing is under, I always forget, under... Yes, yeah, sensors is the clock, <clears throat> and we got that right here now. So if you see, we just have two horizontal arrangements, one that includes our buttons, one that includes our labels. Now we're going to go ahead, set up our game, all the blocks here on the next, uh, in just a moment. Uh, and, one th and a few things I like to do, it just kind of helps when you load the app. I always kind of, I don't, I don't like just leaving things the default colors. It kind of sometimes helps you understand where, like, the screen is and the canvas ends and such if you set these colors to something. Um, completely your preference. I, I think it makes – I think it just helps a lot. I think it helps understand what's going on. Uh, and personally, I think the white screen – I wish this had a dark mode. This whole just white screen drives me crazy. Just my two cents. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do something like that for now. And you can even go in here and change like these colors if you want. Uh, if I were to change... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go be fancy one step farther. And I'm actually going to make it all retro. I like the retro look. Whatever. Make it fun. Make it your own. Have a bit of fun with it. But I think that's what I'm going to roll with. Um, actually. Yeah, I like that. All right, we're going to do that. And that's what we're going to roll with. We're going to set up the blocks in the next one. I hope this helps. Hope this makes sense. Cool.